Hello and welcome to another edition of the Full Force News Burst brought to you by GeneralsJoes.com with me as your host, Chris. Can't take much more of this McLeod, aka Diagnostic. <laughs> Diagnostic 80. Why do I keep messing this up? Joining me today to discuss the news that the Hasbro Pulse website is back and with a cute Ghostbusters Transformers mashup to boot is Justin, did you get my memo about having a break, Bell? So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. Hasbro have revived their online Pulse platform to replace Hasbro Toy Shop and the previous Pulse format with pre-orders and a new Hasbro Pulse Premium membership option that includes free standard continental US shipping for the rest of 2019, a monthly premium for only discounts and flash sales, other perks throughout the year at select fan conventions and more. Hasbro post on their own social platforms to explain that. As fans ourselves, we have an idea of what you, our fans, want. That's why we're bringing you the new Hasbro Pulse. The brands you love, the products you want, the insider access you crave. Check out Hasbro Pulse for new product drops, the latest reveals and more. The site also debuted Ectotron, a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 Transformers mashup toy that has got a lot of people excited, including myself. The toy transforms from the classic Ecto-1 vehicle to a robot mode and comes with a Slimer accessory. Interestingly, the pre-order has since been removed from the Pulse website, so it would appear that Hasbro posted it too early. On top of the toy, IDW Publishing will also be releasing a five-issue comic for the origin of Ectotron. A Hasbro press release stated, The Ghostbusters have a new out-of-this-world teammate and fans will be able to meet the all-new Transformers character Ectotron in his epic origin story by IDW Publishing. A brand new five-part series from creative team Eric Burnham and Dan Schoening begins in June 2019. In any case, Justin, what are your thoughts on Hasbro redeveloping their online platform and, of course, this cool little crossover? Well, Ectotron looks pretty awesome. I mean, they did a great job of kind of the mirroring the Ecto-1 vehicle and a cool-looking robot mode. But I really got it. Does Ectotron really deserve a five-part limited series to talk about his origin? That seems insane. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Unless they're planning for, like, a big, big crossover between the two, you know, the two yeah, franchises. I mean, that- it probably is going to be like an overall Ghostbusters Transformers crossover that just happens to have the, the history of Ectotron, but still, that just that seems nuts. But um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's kind of cool that you know they're they're doing this, and I know the first thing in everybody's mind is going to be okay. So when when's it happening with GI Joe? And I mean, that seems to make perfect sense as well. But um, you know, we'll see what happens there. I, I can't imagine that they'd think a Transformers Ghostbusters crossover would would be more you know popular profitable or attention grabbing than the transformers gi joe crossover but i'm toy in toy form anyway yeah but who knows but I, it's still it's a it's a pretty cool unique item it'd be awesome if they could find a way to make it work for a bunch of other properties including gi joe and uh and i, I really like it and the hasbro pulse website is neat i was kind of cruising around in there earlier i mean it seems like they kind of retired hasbro toy shop in favor of this new mm. more coat kind of platform we'll see what happens i mean hasbro toy shop kind of you know it came out in gangbusters then kind of fizzled a little bit and was didn't you know wasn't the first place to find product and was selling out and you know was glitching out during you know comic-con purchases and things like that so we'll see how if this works out any better but um yeah it looks nice it's definitely a good idea i think for them to kind of streamline the online platform where they had hasbro toy yeah, shop they had the pulse website it makes a lot of sense to just combine it all into one thing doesn't it definitely yeah i think that was the right move um, just kind of make one central hub where they can release news and press releases and information and then have it linked directly to a to an existing store that's right on the same spot it just yeah it just seemed like you know when you start doing this and releasing new things all of a sudden the the, the idea kind of gets away from you a little bit and you kind of think well it's no surprise that they need to kind of bring all this together and the site does seem to be smooth it's got a lot of kind of fun features kind of going on on there the pre-orders kind of thing is uh interesting but then on top of that you've got the behind the scenes things with the power rangers figures and and all that kind of stuff as well so there's a they're trying to tie in a lot of the stuff that they're doing at the moment and really kind of bring it into one place and that does make a lot of sense from just a logistical point of view you know their social yep. networks can focus on just what's on their website now and not having to you know to send people into different places to see you know to see this video over here or to see that this product over here and everything they can kind of everything is in one place here you go yep. and that makes a lot of sense to me definitely no i mean the house 
Hasbro Pulse Premium is also kind of a neat twist, you know, with the, the whole annual membership type of thing. Although I guess if you if you buy something between now and February 24th, you just get enrolled in it without having to pay the $50 annual fee. Yeah. But it seems kind of like an Amazon Prime-ish sort of, you know, sort of benefit. Who knows what it's, you know, what it'll end up gathering you at, at the conventions. I would imagine Comic-Con is probably a place yeah. where it'll have some effect. You know, I'd say Hascon, if Hascon was actually happening. <laughs> yeah. So I would say Comic-Con or probably New York Comic-Con maybe as well would be a few of the conventions where they'll have, they'll have some perks or something that are available that if you're if you're a member so that initial idea of like you know if you pay if you buy something on the site now then obviously you're you're going to be a, a prime member kind of thing it, it, it's kind of like a genius move but then all of a sudden yeah. well, if, especially for the for the ghostbusters crossover figure ectotron and yeah. then they go and remove it from the site i know you can still get it from gamestop but again i think you you know you're paying a little bit extra a bit more shipping it was thirty nine ninety nine, I believe, when it came up on Hasbro Pulse, and now it's forty nine yeah. ninety nine at GameStop. But I mean, if you do still want that and you can't get it on Hasbro Pulse, it is available there. And maybe hold out because it might come straight back to Hasbro Pulse. I'm betting, yeah, I'm betting they'll have it back probably this weekend. I think they probably just, I don't know if maybe they didn't mean to have it available on Friday, or I, I don't know what what the issue is. But Toy Fair and, and Comic Con are always so wacky because the the shows used to be like. Well, I mean, Toy Fair was never a collector's showcase until, you know, about 10 years ago. But they always, like, have, you know, come to Comic-Con and see all the new things, and they start leaking all this stuff, like, a day or two early, and it no longer becomes such a special thing to yeah. go to Comic-Con and see stuff revealed. And then they have all these collector's advance nights and stuff like that. But, you know, it'll be it'll be interesting to see kind of how this shapes up. And like I said before in, in the previous uh, news burst, we'll be bringing you as much up-to-the-minute news as we can. Uh, with with a big kind of overarching kind of um, uh, kind of episode on uh, either Sunday or Monday, just to kind of like tie everything together. Anyway, Justin, thank you for jumping on again. Sure, really appreciate it. No problem. Uh, even though you haven't gone anywhere, we've just done this back to back. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host Justin Bell, who appears to be recording from a helicarrier. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of these platforms with feedback questions or to say, who do you think you are? A serious operation now? No, not even close. Look out for more of these news bursts that we are posting on the Facebook page from now on. Full Force.